Hey everyone, it's been about six months since I graduated from OMSCS. I really enjoyed the program, and if you're interested, you can check out my full review in an earlier video. But today I wanted to specifically cover the things that I would do differently if I were to start OMSCS today. The first thing I would do is make more of an effort to attend some of the in-person meetups that OMSCS offers. While I was completing the program, I was based in San Diego, and San Diego was actually one of the first cities to get an OMSCS chapter, which is something they piloted starting around the summer of 2022. I started the program in January of 2022, and at that time, I was hoping that OMSCS would offer some networking opportunity since it's online, and that was one of the things I was worried about with doing an online master's. I attended the first San Diego chapter meeting back in the August of 2022, and it was a really good experience. I got to meet a lot of people doing the program or who had completed the program. However, after that first meetup, I started graduate intro to operating systems and also started a new job during that semester. So I ended up not attending any of the other meetups that were held. Looking back, I wish that I made attending these meetups more of a priority since it was something that I was interested in coming into the program. Speaking of in-person meetups, the largest in-person meetup for OMSCS is the annual OMSCS conference held in Atlanta every year. I attended this past April while I was also in Atlanta for commencement. And this past year, the conference was held the week before commencement, so it made it really convenient to fly out from California and stay in Atlanta for a week. The conference was really well organized and included some networking opportunities, some interesting talks and showcases, and was just overall a great opportunity to meet other students and alumni. I understand that it's not something that everybody can do, but if you're local to Atlanta or you have the time, I would definitely recommend it. Speaking of networking and getting to know other students, the third thing that I would do if I were to start OMSCS today is join more study groups. While I didn't attend any more meetups through the San Diego OMSCS chapter, I did meet someone else who was taking graduate intro to operating systems the same semester that I was through that Slack channel, and we actually met up to study for the midterm in person. This was another great opportunity to get to know a fellow student and it definitely helped me prepare for that exam. Fast forward to my last semester in OMSCS in the spring 2024 semester, I also had a study group for graduate algorithms. This study group consisted of myself and five other engineers, all of whom were very experienced and worked at big tech companies, and it definitely helped having them in that class. One of the other members of my study group was even in Atlanta at the same commencement. These study groups really make a big difference, not only for understanding the course material, but also for getting to know fellow students. Earlier, I mentioned that I went to the OMSCS conference, and that brings me to my fourth point. One of my big takeaways from the conference was that the OMSCS administration is really trying to make an effort to make it easier for OMSCS students to get involved with Georgia Tech research. I had waited until the second half of my OMSCS journey to start exploring research opportunities, and by that time it felt a little too late. OMSCS was already offering VIPs, or vertically integrated projects, which were semester-long projects that you could substitute for up to two courses, but these were predefined projects, and I Spent a few semesters considering doing one, but I never found one that really aligned with what I was interested in. After the conference, I learned that OMSCS will actually be coming out with a seminar on how to get involved with research, and that's definitely something that I would take if I were starting OMSCS today. Lastly, I would go for a different specialization at the beginning of OMSCS. When I started the program, I was interested in the computational perception and robotics specialization, mostly due to the fact that I was working with robotics at the job I was working at the time. However, because I didn't do computer science as an undergrad, I soon learned that I wanted to take some of those more fundamental courses and eventually completely switched my specialization to computing systems. As part of this, I took courses like 
graduate intro to operating systems and high performance computer architecture. And I've found those classes the most beneficial for my day-to-day -day work. In particular, I wish I started the program with high performance computer architecture because it's at such a low level of abstraction. And for me, after taking that class as my seventh class, a lot of things that I had learned previously made a lot more sense. If I started again today, I would continue on with courses like Graduate Intro to Operating Systems, Computer Networks, and some of the other courses in the system specialization. Starting with these more foundational courses would have helped me make more informed decisions about the electives that I took. Looking back, I really enjoyed OMSCS, but there are definitely things that I would have done differently. I hope that some of these give you ideas for how to make the most out of your OMSCS experience. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.